This is Helen Love, expert accent at Cardiff Speech and Drama. In this video, we're going to look at how to say the RP English single vowel OR. This vowel is made at the back of the mouth with the tongue halfway up, slightly further than halfway up. It's drawn back so you can see on the top of it OR and the lips are really rounded whilst the jaw is quite wide open. It's not as far up or with the jaw as far open or the lips as rounded as if you were doing OO. It's one step down from that. OR OO O, o. It's one of the sounds that you make as if you're putting a plum in your mouth and speaking around it. Or, door, floor. But make sure that the tongue doesn't go so high up that it turns into oo. And notice that my lips are very rounded for this. Oo. So you relax the jaw a bit from oo, you let the tongue come down a little bit, and you let the mouth open a bit. O, oo, o, oo. Do remember, in RP English, it is only the back vowels where the lips round. The sounds where the high part of the tongue is at the back. So we say this for oo and o and ah, where the lips are still slightly rounded. But we don't do that when we're saying e, for instance. It's very spread. So this distinguishes this sound as being quite British by saying or, or, because the back of the tongue is quite high and the jaw is quite open and the lips are quite rounded. Or. It's also, even though it's a single vowel sound, it's quite long. Or. Whereas the sound just below it in the mouth, o, slightly more open, slightly more dropped, dro dropped jaw. O is quite short. This one is or, and it's a little bit longer. Or. Let's just say a few sounds and a little exercise for practicing this vowel. We've got the word or as in either or 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 and wonder and then very common words that we say poor, sure, door, floor, more and this little exercise these couple of lines might help you to practice Mr Shaw's poor dog hurt his paw when he stepped on an apple core on the sea shore or oh. 